it's not that you proclaim this, you're on a loudspeaker telling everybody that you're chosen, you're part of the 144, or you know, whatever terms that people like to use. This anointing that you have is just on you, it just exudes from you. Most people that are truly anointed and have these spiritual gifts from God, it's like sometimes you kind of feel like, God, why me? But God is saying, like, why not you? Although there's things that you may have to encounter because you are meant to bring about major catalysts of change. It's just who you are. Most people that have this anointing, this blessing and favor over their life, they don't even really want to be out like that. They don't want to be amongst people because it's like you pick up energetically on so much. You hear things people don't hear. You know, you can read between the lines. It, it can be overwhelming. It could just feel like sensory overload. But those that really resonate with this message, I want you to understand that the reason why the favor over your life is so amazing is because you're doing God's work. You're a part of the chosen one army, literally. And so this is why things always tend to work out for you because you have this keen sense of right and wrong. You're here to help balance the scales. And oftentimes people misconstrue who you are. They think that you are, you know, they think that you're trying to show them up or anything like that. And it's not that, it's just that your energy that you're exuding and this is just coming from who you biologically is it is convicting to them and if they, they feel as if if they're going to come into your presence they got to come correct or not come at all and those that even try to deceive their way in your energy they realize that it's something that they can't compete with and so sometimes you make it mislabeled as being you know of something devious and dark and it's not nothing like that in fact you're of the light but you operate out of duality. You can appear very fragile, but don't get it twisted. That fragility, you could be as fragile as a grenade. So it's just how you want to really come at those that have the anointing of God over their life. And furthermore, I just want to say, say that another thing is that by you having courage, you already know that you're a winner. You constantly are winning because you have the courage to do things that others have not done. You answer the call when God tells you to do something, you're obedient. And this is why he is favoring you and you're blessed.